it's Sunday the 5th of November, blue skies at the moment, but this is the satellite picture. Literally the rain has just been coming in like a little narrow band right over us all morning. We've got some broken bale here that we're going to burn later because it's obviously bonfire night. The village hall wants some stuff to burn there, but I think it might damage the grass, so I'm going to get an IBC cage to put the bonfire in. Got some pallets at Wellbrook, so I'm going to get a Merlot and a small trailer, it's probably the dump trailer. Shoot up there, get the bits of wood and stuff that can be burned from there. Drop some off at the village hall. Later on, take some straw so it doesn't get wet if it rains again. But I think there's too much for one bonfire, so we'll probably have one here as well. So I'll go and uh, find a trailer. Once I've done that, then I can get all these in the shed and maybe we have a quick look at all these Merlots. Get, a, get them all together for a group photograph, family photo. Wheat update, just about holding up until you get to where the flood is. Now, is there any money in boating lakes? There all the water flowing out the back of the trailer. It's a bit low the stem on this one, see how it catches the floor. Should be alright on the road though, but when I went down that track the other day, especially where I was getting stuck, it was sticking, should have took it off perhaps and put it on there. Probably acting like an anchor. Definitely worked, didn't it, that bucket brush? You can see all the cobbles and the tarmac now. That needs stoning up and graveling. This guy actually contacted me, said he had some gravel left over. That would have been handy. But yeah, I feel like I've not been here for ages because I don't think I've been at all this week. Kitchen's coming, I think, on the 14th to 15th. <laughs> Looks like the rain's coming again. I better get these pallets loaded up quickly. Let's drop the trailer here. brakes and the lights. Don't think we can burn the green and red ones. I think they belong to somebody else. Like on hire or something by supermarkets. Them two are broken. They're all right. But I brought a trailer. I forgot how big that bucket is because I can fit two side by side. I actually fitted them all in the bucket so it's an absolute waste of time bringing the trailer. But never mind. It only takes a second to clip it on. I've been going down the road and I can hear this rattle. It's that. It's totally, totally cracked that bucket. So, looks like that's going to have to be welded up tomorrow. So it does any more work. It's cracked there, been welded. Now it's cracked there. There's cracked in the past, and but yeah, we'll have to plate it, I think. Got one of these IBC cages with a metal bottom. So if we put that on the grass behind the village hall, the grass might get warm and die slightly, but at least it won't leave a completely scorched patch and damage the earth underneath. So we've got this broken bale. I'm gonna put a few more flakes in that. Take that up. A couple of little small dry pallets there. Hopefully they'll be able to light the straw, throw the pallets in, and every half an hour just throw a few more pallets in. That's the plan anyway. Hopefully it won't blow out coming up the road with it. You hear that squeaking? Not doing it now. There you go. That's the bucket there on the well. Should be okay this for just shoving up this loose straw and then I can put the header away then in here. move this out of the way, get that one, sweep it into a pile and then put it on that trailer there. It's filling up a lot though. It's amazing how much straw is in a trailer once it bulks out a bit. How much straw, sorry, in a bale once it bursts. It's a funny noise this thing makes. It's like, it's like the clangers. Some people won't remember the clangers. That's a quiz question, who remembers the clangers? Side now, brush it to the middle. 
scoop it up, job done. Gonna spin the head around there, drop it off, put this in the shed for a family photo, move all the Merlots out and then put it back in the shed where the Merlots are gonna be parked. Can't really get a very good photo to be honest because of the, the pillars. Have a look from this angle. Only see three. I'll just quickly explain this one two wheel steer, not front wheel steer, just rear wheel steer, two and a half ton to five and a half meters, 90 kilowatt, I think it's it is, or 90 amp hour battery, I think that's what the 90 stands for. This is a, all electric completely. This one, 2.7 ton to six meters, four wheel steer. In fact, I may as well open the bonnet on them, I'll show you the difference. Eh? So, this one. Is electric, so it's just got motors and a big battery underneath. And the motor is really under this back corner, which presumably you've got to open that. There you go. There's one of the motors there, and another one down there to drive the back axle. And there's the valve block. That's that one. This one. In fact, they are all different here because the two that look the same aren't. So this one's got a Kohler engine, 60 horsepower, I think. So that's 2.7 tonne to six meters. Same carriage as the other three. That's got a slightly smaller carriage, although that bucket will fit that. I should, if I get a chance this week, I'll put a bucket on the front of all of them and you can see like the difference and we'll get them out and we'll stretch them all out in the air as well. Uh, this one, 3810. Now this, this one should have a Deutz engine, I think. Yep, a Deutz engine in this one. I think it's 140 horsepower. So that's, so that's the bonnet shot. <laughs> 3.8 ton to 10 meters. Again, same carriage fitment as what we call the Mini Merlot. It's got the Micro Merlot, the Mini Merlot and the standard one. But these are 10 meters, so they've got three section boom. So a lot of telehandlers won't have this bit here. They'll just have that boom and that one. But you've got one, two, three. So it really telescopes out. This is 145 horsepower. And it's got cab suspension. So the cab is suspended and it floats up and down as you go over bumps. This one is also a 3810. But this one is now got a Perkins engine in it. So it doesn't look a lot different unless you know what you're looking for. Obviously, you've got the Perkins on the filter there. Um, is the turbo in a different place? Yeah, I think the turbo's facing you on this one, isn't it? Which is here. Let's go back to this one. I don't think it was on this. I think it's behind the engine on this one. Or I just, did I just get myself confused? Oh, no, it's there. Sorry, yeah, it is. It's just it's lower down. The older Perkins engines, though, I think, did used to have the turbo. I thought down the back there, or at least the starter motor is anyway. But yeah, that's a Perkins engine. Now, it drives very much the same, but if you look at that one, it says it's a 145. I think this is only a 135. Yeah, 136, so it's nine horsepower different, but... Pretty much drives the same, but yeah, there's a there's a family of Merlots. Oh, if that one was bigger, they'd be like Russian dolls, wouldn't they? They all fit inside each other. But yeah, 10 meters, 10 meters, six meters, five and a half meters. So it's it's amazing, really, for the size of that. It's like what is it? Probably a foot or two foot narrower than that one but it'll still lift to nearly the same height because that's six and I think that's five and a half. So it's properly, properly compact. I wonder how it does it really because I suppose the boom is dead long. The boom is right at the back of the machine. Same as this one, to be honest, but yeah. There we go. So this is on demo at the moment. Anyway, I think they're picking it up this week sometime. Come in. Now, move them all out the shed to put the header in here, the header's there. 
I think we try and put it in with the electric one, eh? That'd be a bit hard to see, but it's dead manoeuvrable, so we'll try it. Let's go back another inch and we're on. I think it'll pull it. The header looked big yesterday, getting towed by the Merlot. Looks even bigger getting towed by that one. Someone actually commented on the video yesterday saying, why did we go and get it with a Merlot? Well, the reason we went and got it with a Merlot is because it's more manoeuvrable to get it out onto the road. And the reason we went yesterday was because the weather was getting wetter and wetter and wetter and wetter. And that was the first chance we've had. You know, we, we waited a week after we'd finished to see whether it'd dry up a bit. It has, and it's just got worse. So if we didn't get it yesterday, whenever we do get it, it'd have been a lot worse or it would have left it there rot rotting away. One the 90,000 quid. I am going to do that. So yeah, that was why we pulled it out with a Merlot. So someone was saying that we were damaging the soil structure. I think we knew that. Now, I don't know whether we want it in high or eco. Didn't it even... Doesn't even sound like it's pulling it. Like, you'd normally get like a bit of a... If there's a diesel engine there, it bar because it's set off, but this is fine. Just realise it's got a curved back window and a little spoiler for the lights to mount on to the blue light reflecting on the header when you put it in reverse. Hopefully, should go in nice and easy with being extra manoeuvrable, being so small. Just watch that pillar there that we don't knock it down any further. Easy peasy with this. I thought it'd be awkward to see where I'm going, but because I'm backing around the bend and you're kind of that low, you can nearly see underneath it somehow. Chest is barking at something. Probably wondering what that funny noise is from the electric motors, perhaps. There we go. That wasn't a bad guess. A couple of inches. There we go. There's even actually room to park that here. Just one job left to do now. Put a tractor on that trailer. Ready to take that and tip it, but I'm gonna have a quick brew. Edit what you've just watched. I'm gonna quickly do the birthdays actually before that, which you've just seen. No, you've not, you're gonna see them now. I said there's something on that tractor that's got one drill on. This has got the hedge cutter on. The 936 has got a drill on. That's been cleaned. The other one's in the shed. So I think I'll just tip that trail over Merlot. But anyway, quickly do the birthday bumper. Someone's put on PSSD awareness. So there we go. That is on there. James Russell's on there. Tom Harrison, 33. That's the same as my dad. And my dad's not 33. Uh, Ralphie Dennis is 13. Nifty is 55. Talia Girdwood Gerd is on there. Natalie... I think it's pronounced Shep, is on there, she's 40. Claire Dennison is 38. Lewis Byrne is six. Ryan B's 32. Oscar Cronin is nine. Isaac Joseph Payden is five. Scott Tucker's 36. And we're now at 51,204 pound. So it was only the other day when we hit 51. In fact, it was only last week we hit 50. So it's really making some money now, the birthday bumper. Anyway, I've waffled enough for today. Sounding a little bit like Andrew Ward. Thanks for watching. Oh no, tomorrow I might be going to look at something properly cool, weather permitting. So stay tuned tomorrow. Don't forget as well, if you want a hoodie with one of these things on for cleaning your phone, they're on the website, but they are selling out quick. So I think the grey ones will be going into stock tomorrow or the day after. And the green ones that did come into stock, I think have already gone. But if you go and place a thing, it'll send you an email. So as soon as they're back in stock, you'll get an email about that. I know loads of people the other day, I think we had double the amount of people requesting a large green hoodie than what arrived but there is a lot more on the way so if you got the email to say it's there and it, and it wasn't go and do it again because next time there should be a bigger batch coming anyway waffled far too much thanks for watching see you tomorrow
Actually, one last thing. Morgan's been on her tractor run today. He sent me a few videos. And Jonathan also got the whole procession going past. It's four minutes long, so I've speeded it right up so you can watch it in seconds. So, yeah, there we go. See you tomorrow.